I'm building a team with an amazing player from every single Madden ever released using this wheel. We have some cover athletes in the game that have some crazy high ratings, but we also have some players that haven't gotten one of those cards yet, which is a big deal because my roommate Matt doesn't even think I can build an 85 overall team, and I have to prove him wrong. Beginning with our first spin, which will decide our first Madden, we've got Madden 98 all the way up through Madden 24 from today, and our first spin is going to land on Madden 9. Team. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the cover athlete, but we're going to look for someone who is in the 99 club from each game that we choose. And Madden 19 had Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Antonio Brown, Aaron Donald, Von Miller, and Luke Keekley. And I know we're going to need a couple linebackers in this challenge, so I'm going to go with middle linebacker Luke Keekley. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because for each player we go to add, I'll be guessing how many Super Bowls they won in their career. For each one we get right, we'll get to add the best version that's available in Madden 24 to our team. But for each one we get wrong, not only will we have to add the worst version, but I'll add $10 to the running pot of gift cards for Xbox and PlayStation that I'm going to give away at the end of this video. And I have to prove Matt wrong. So this is really important. Now, Luke Keekley only played on the Panthers to my knowledge, so I'm just going to take a guess that he's won zero Super Bowls. So thank the heavens, because I'm right, which means we get to add his 90 overall version as our first player to our team. Spinning for our next Madden, I really want to be able to add some of these cover athletes. Athletes. One, because they have really good player player items in the game, but also just because they're kind of sick and super fun to use. So our next one is going to be Madden 08. The 99 overall club had Peyton Manning, LaDainian Tomlinson, Brian Erlacher, Ed Reed, and Champ Bailey. We're going to have to add a couple cornerbacks here. So I'm going to start with the Broncos CB, Champ Bailey himself. And hopefully he's going to be a champ for our team. I think he played with Peyton Manning for at least one of them. So I'm going to guess one Super Bowl. No, dude. Yeah, he's, a ch he's got champ in his name, and he hasn't won any Super Bowls. I thought he would have won one with Peyton Manning. So it's said we'll be adding his 85 overall. We're going to end up going through all these. It's just a matter of what order we're going to get them in. But we're going to start here on our third one with Madden 16. And Madden 16's cover athlete was Odell Beckham Jr. And in their 99 overall club, we have Aaron Rodgers, Rob Gronkowski, and J.J. Watt. He's one of my favorite players ever on and off the field. So we're going to be going with Rob Gronkowski on this one where there's an 81 overall version. He has a 93 version, but it's like 3 million coins. So we're just going to take the 92 if we're able to get this because it's almost just as good. And I'm that confident that we can beat Matt and get way better than an 85 overall. I'm going to guess Gronk has four Super Bowl wins in his career. Let's go, dude. This makes me want a Gronk spike of football, honestly. Ooh. That was a Pat McAfee signed football. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. But we're picking up Gronk's 92 overall cover athlete version. Our next draw landed on Madden 07, where we decided to go with Ed Reed and correctly guessed one Super Bowl for him. So we added his 90 overall. Then we had Madden 12 with Peyton ah! Hillis on the cover, if you remember that. Which we decided to take Revis Island, and I just keep proving that I don't know ball. Yeah, I'm going to guess he's won zero Super Bowls. The man played for the Jets. They only won with Joe Namath. That should be... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, of course he played with the Patriots, dude. Every one of these guessing videos, I just prove how much I don't know ball. So yay me, I'm saving a bunch of coins, but at the same time, we're putting an 81 overall receiver on our secondary. That's disgusting. And as of right now, we're already up to $20 in gift cards to give away. This could get out of hand really quickly. And then we spun Matt in 2002, where I went with Marshall Falk for our running back. I guessed he had one Super Bowl win, and I was correct, so we got to add his 92 overall version. That's one of the earlier spins. Let's go back to a really new Madden. Can we get something over 20, 21, 22? Or Madden 20 would be really fun. We're actually gonna go back to a round 12, which we've already pulled. Instead, though, we're gonna get Madden 11. The 99 overall club had Peyton Manning again. Bro, he is always in the 99 club, rightfully so. Drew Brees, Chris Johnson, Jared Allen, Patrick Willis, and we already got Darrell Rivas. We've already got a dog in Luke Keekley, but we can get another dog right beside him. When Patrick Willis was born, he was already flagged for unnecessary roughness. The jokes just speak for themselves. He's like the equivalent of Chuck Norris. If we get this wrong, sure, I'll be adding 10 more dollars to the giveaway, but at least his worst version of card available right now is a 90 overall. I'm pretty sure he went to a Super Bowl and lost it. I don't think he ever won one with the 49ers. It was zero. I didn't have to worry about it anyways, but I hedged my bet. That was a thousand IQ play. So we'll buy him and add him right next to Luke Keekley. Madden 25 was a 25th anniversary. That was actually Madden 14 for anyone wondering. Well, we're going to end with Madden 17. The 99 club included himself, JJ Watt, Luke Keekley, and Von Miller. I feel like I got 
to take a shot at redemption here. We're going to go for Von Miller. A lot of these players had 99 clubs in many different games, so we'll be able to have a chance to get them again. Von Miller has a 90 overall, which would be great, but he also has an 84 overall, which would be not so great. But this one kind of feels easy to me. He obviously hasn't won with the Bills, but he was on Peyton Manning's team when the Broncos won it. I'm going to guess one Super Bowl. No, he won two? How did he win two? Played for the Rams? Again, I'm proving. I don't know ball. That's another $10 of the pot. And we've got to add an 84, dude. I literally forgot that he played for the Rams. 100%. Just did not remember it. But this role, we got Madden 18. And the 99 overall club had himself, Aaron Donald, and Von Miller again. Tom Brady does not have a card in 24, so we're kind of stuck with Aaron Donald. Not that that's really being stuck with someone. He's insane. Aaron Donald has an 85 overall card, but he also has this 92 aka the Terminator. Donald will be back. My impersonations are getting so much worse. Donald only won one Super Bowl is my guess. It was in 2022, the same year that Von Miller apparently won it that I totally forgot about. This is funny because it says he's never won a Super Bowl. If you go to any other source, he's a Super Bowl champion when he won in 2022. So that initial thing is wrong. I was right. He has won one Super Bowl ring, which is sick because it means we get to add his 92 overall Terminator card. Stop with the accent, Adam. Just stop. We've knocked off some of the later Maddens, some of the best Maddens, but we haven't got one really at either end, like a Madden 98 or a Madden 24. Okay. Just like that, we're going to get Madden 24, which is really easy to look up. There's a 99 club in Madden 24 is Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Zach Martin, Aaron Donald, or Justin Jefferson. I really want Justin Jefferson, but I think we're going to get a lot of other receiver options. And I don't think we're going to get a ton of offensive line. With the guard position, Zach Martin. He's played for the Cowboys his entire career. I'm going to guess he's won zero Super Bowls because we know that the Cowboys have a fun way of coming up short in miraculously ridiculous fashion. Even with the frowny face picture, man, that just feels kind of insulting, but also a little bit hilarious at the same time. I'm a little worried about filling this out. Not many 99 clubs for this spot. And we're at an 89 overall right now, so suck it, Matt. We're definitely going to dominate this challenge. Next, we took it back to an older Madden where we got Madden 99 that actually had 100 overall clubs. So we went with Shannon Sharp and I guess three Super Bowls, but that's kind of an out there guess. I'm not going to lie. Holy crap, I'm on fire, dude. That was totally random. Really, like truly random. And I got it right. So we're going to get another earlier Madden. This is going to be Madden 10. Peyton Manning again, man. How many 99 clubs did this man have? Larry Fitzgerald. Albert Hainsworth is interesting. Ed Reed, who we have, and Troy Palomalu and Namdi Asamoa. I would not have guessed that. You guys get so upset about my Palomalu pronunciation. It's all in good fun, boys, but that's who we're going to go for with this one. I think Big Ben won two. I'm going to guess two Super Bowls for Troy. Two is it two? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You know what they say? When you're hot, you're hot. And right now, I'm on fire. Our next spin was Madden 23, which was pretty easy for me. Another off Offensive lineman and Trent Williams, and I correctly guess he had zero Super Bowls. So we added his 86 to the team, and then we drew Madden 05, and we went with middle linebacker Ray Lewis, just for the pure fact that his dance that he used to do before every game terrified the living crap out of me. That was my best impression. Please don't make fun of me. This needs to stop. Now. And even if we fail on this one, we still end up with an 88 overall, which is pretty good. But he's also got this 92 cover art card. And I'm going to guess that he won two Super Bowls. I'm literally such a stud, dude. I, 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 I'm, I do know ball. I also kind of forgot we already have Patrick Willis and Luke Keekley. Don't yell at me. We're just going to put Ray Lewis at right outside linebacker instead. There's a good mix here of old and new and mid left. We haven't crossed like anything really off the list entirely as we're going to be jumping up. Madden 15, Madden 15, Madden 20, Madden 15, Madden 15. And the 99 overall club was Calvin Johnson, JJ Watt, and Richard Sherman. It, just in honor of him being the cover athlete, I got to go with Richard Sherman and our cornerbacks could really use someone good. He has this 92 overall cover athlete card that's really expensive. Don't mind that but he also has a 78 overall if we fail thankfully i feel pretty confident he won one because the lob won one super bowl and then they lost one to the patriots when they should have ran and instead they passed yes just one give the ball to marshawn feed marshawn don't worry richard sherman we will not be testing you with a sorry receiver like crabtree that's the result you won't get but thankfully we finally have a really really good cornerback and after drawing madden 21 and trying to complete our secondary with stefan gilmore my knowledge of ball eludes me i'm gonna say two super bowls he's only won one i thought he definitely played with brady longer than that another ten dollars to the pot and we've got to buy an 84 overall dude our defense is almost filled up but we've got a lot of work to do on the offense we're gonna end up getting Madden 20, one of my favorite Maddens ever. It was crazy. The 99 overall club consisted of Nuke Hopkins, Aaron Donald, Khalil 
Mac. I'm very tempted. Being that we have no receivers yet, I am going to go with DeAndre Hopkins. I'm going to get zero Super Bowls. This one feels unfair, but I think it's pretty easy. Yeah, just as predicted, it's zero. That one was kind of a cheat code. Okay, this is going to be fun. Madden 98. I've been looking forward to this as I really don't know about this one. 99 overall club, zero. None. But the cover athlete was John Madden. And there is a John Madden player item in this game. So it almost feels just kind of right that we would just pick up John Madden and add him to this team. There's six possible upgrades we can get for him. So we're going to take a short 10 question quiz, which apparently is difficult with an average score of five. And however many we get right is however many upgrades we're going to be able to get. First question. In 1969, John Madden was a very young man when he was chosen by owner Al Davis to be head coach of the Oakland Raiders. How old was he? I was going to guess 36. Apparently it was not. After firing through all 10 questions, we managed to correctly answer the Raiders record in 1977, which was 13 and one. And that John Madden was so claustrophobic. So he drove a bus around instead of flying, leaving us with a score of just two out of 10. But that means we only get two upgrades here, which means we got him up to an 85 overall. And since we already have a left tackle with Trent Williams, I'm going to put John Madden at right tackle. We've taken all the prior to 2000 Maddens out of this cycle now. So we've still got some great ones like this one. Exactly. Madden 04 and low key. I was kind of strategizing my head because I really want Mike Vick. This was the year that he was freaking crazy from the cover. And we have the option to get either a 79 if we're wrong or an 88 if we're right. This is our quarterback. This is a really important position. I know he didn't win on the Falcons. So my question here is kind of, did he win when he was playing for the Eagles? And I don't think he won when he was playing for the Eagles. Either. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That 88 overall version has that dog in him. Was that too soon? We've got seven Maddens left on this wheel and still a lot of positions to fill out on our offense. And then we rolled Madden 13 and I went with Calvin Johnson, correctly guessing zero Super Bowls. But unfortunately, there were no 88s up on the auction house. So we had to settle for his 85. We still have Madden 25, which is my favorite game ever. Again, 25th anniversary is actually Madden 14. I get that question on a lot of videos whenever I feature that game. And that's actually what we roll. What do you know, dude? I wasn't, I literally did, this is gonna look fake. I didn't do that. Madden 25 had two different covers. One of them had Barry Sanders but one of them had Adrian Peterson, who was probably the most dominant running back ever in a Madden, besides Madden 20, Eric Dickerson, which we all know how that turned out. The 99 overall club had, of course, AP, Calvin Johnson, and JJ Watt, and I'm going with Adrian Peterson for this one. Even though we have Marshall Falk, I just loved this game and loved using him so much. I feel like I have to. And look at that, another 1,000 IQ play because he's only got a 90 overall card. So whether I get it right or wrong, doesn't matter. We're gonna be adding a 90 overall AP. But he played for a lot of teams because he came back a bunch, but I don't think he won any Super Bowls. So I'm gonna guess zero. And I'm right. And that picture really, <laughs> really does him dirty, dude. What do I have to do to get that man a Donatello card art picture? And kind of a wild pick, but he's gonna be our running back number two with a dominant backfield, man. And then we spun Madden 03 where I went with Michael straight hand, but I'm just hoping his teeth don't leave a massive gap in our defense. Dang it, that was another terrible joke. I'm not good at this. Trahan has a 90 overall left end card we can get, but he also has an 81 overall if we get his Super Bowl predictions wrong, and I'm just gonna guess three because it's lucky number three, and you guess C on every math test. One. Oh, okay. Even the second guess didn't help. We're just flat out wrong on that one, so we're going with the 81 overall. That's so tough, dude. And then we spend Madden 2001, who has no 99 club members. I'm gonna get creative here, and we need a defensive tackle, I know, so we're gonna go with Warren Sapp, because in the year 2000, he played in 16 games. He had one forced fumble and he had 16 and a half sacks, which was the most he ever had in his career. I'm gonna guess Warren Sapp won zero Super Bowls. Won one. How in what? Okay. All right, buddy. But at least we get to add his 87 overall. So that's still pretty cool. And then after rolling Madden 22, we chose Devonte Adams, where I correctly guessed zero Super Bowls and we added his 90 overall. Then moving on to Madden 06, where I wanted my last receiver in Randy Moss, but his only card is available from a promo with upgrades. So we're going to take another quiz. And of course, this quiz is considered very difficult with an average score of four. So that's super fun. First question, what team did Randy Moss record his first 200 yard receiving game against? Gotta guess someone in the NFC North. That's who he played against the most. Most. We'll guess uh, the Green Bay Packers. It's the Bears, of course. And in this one, I correctly guessed how many catches he had in 2023, that the Bills were the first team he had four TD catches against, and that the Packers were the first team he had a 100-yard receiving game against, leaving us with a score of just three out of 10, which means we get three upgrades, which is gonna put him at an 88 overall. That's really not that bad for a fourth receiver option. And after removing Madden 06, we're just left with Madden 09. The 99 overall club had, again, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, who's not in the game, LaDainian Tomlinson not in the game, Antonio Gates not in the game, Randy Moss we already picked, and Bob Sanders is not in the game. We've come to 
a little bit of an impasse. We got to figure out what to do here. So after doing a ton of research on this, I found the rosters for Madden NFL 09 for a position of need that we still have, which is our center. And Kevin Mawe happens to be in the game as a team captain's card. So that's what we're going to be going with. Kevin Mawe is going to be our center. He's a team captain. I'm just going to use all the team captain tokens on him, which is actually kind of sick because we get him up to a 91 overall. And then I realized I made a mistake. I accidentally left Madden 2000 off the wheels. So we still have one more Madden left to add. There's literally a punter in the 99 overall club here, which is hilarious. But we also have fullback Mike Allstott in this game, and he has an 83 overall, but he also has this 90 overall A-Train card, and I think he won a Super Bowl, but I also think he didn't, and I want to err on what I feel is a side of caution here. I'm just going to guess that Mike Allstott won one Super Bowl. Ding, 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 we have a minner. Minner. That's great, Adam. I've been recording for like two hours. These videos actually take a while, but he did win the franchise's first Super Bowl title. So we got that correct, which means we can add his 90 overall. We still have to fill out our left guard, and on defense, we have our left outside linebacker. Two positions we kind of got to get creative for. Here. I feel like we kind of cheated in Madden 01 just a little bit by getting Warren Sapp. At Ruben Brown or Will Shields, who were the highest rated guards of that year. But it turns out Will Shields only has a right guard, and I want to try to stay true to the position. So we're going to be going with the left guard Ruben Brown. And he's only got a 92, so it doesn't matter how many Super Bowls he was won. I know the Bills have won zero, and I'm right on that one, which is great, which means I don't have to contribute to the pot, thankfully. But we're going to add Ruben Brown to our team at a 92 overall, which is pretty sick. And for our left outside linebacker, if you remember, Khalil Mack was actually in the 99 club in Madden 20. So we're going to add him for our left outside linebacker. And he's got an 86 and an 89, and Khalil Mack, unfortunately, has also won zero Super Bowls with the Raiders, the Bears, and the Chargers. And of course, I'm right on that one because he's one of my favorite players, so I followed his career maybe a little too closely. But after slotting him in at left outside linebacker, not only is our team complete, but we also shoved it in Matt's face and built an 88 overall, three overalls higher than he thought we could do. I believe I had six incorrect guesses on this one, which would total $60, two $30 gift cards, but I'm feeling generous. It's Christmas. I'm gonna round up to 100. Here's two $50 gift cards on screen, one Xbox, one PlayStation, whoever redeems them, enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't, and watch this video over here, please. It was one amazing player from each NFL team. We covered all 32.